Hello, hello. Welcome to Empress Black Tarot. Today we're going to be doing a reading for, I don't know, we're going to do something a little different on this series. We're going to pick a card and see who the reading is for. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. All right, let's see who this reading is for today. Who is this reading for today, Spirit? All right, we have Cancer. All right, Cancer, let's get into it. We're gonna be doing a Celtic cross spread for you, but we're gonna start off by finding out the current energy between you and your person or what's currently going on in your love life. Messages for Cancer, please. All right, messages for Cancer. Thank you. Oh man, on the bottom of the deck, we have the ship card. So the ship talks about leaving guys. This can indicate, you know, that someone um, is leaving on the ship. It could also indicate someone is arriving on the ship, but it talks about moving on and cutting ties with something. We have wedding rings. We're gonna kind of see what happens. This can indicate that you're moving on or you have moved on from a past person and you are now taking a new relationship to the next level. This could indicate that you were married and you are, are leaving this person. You're making a decision to cut ties and move on. This can also indicate that um, if you're not married, this can just indicate the relationship. Okay, guys, you have the golden mirror and the runner card. So for me, this indicates... Um, someone's a narcissist in this relationship okay um with the runner card coming out this is also a codependent relationship with the runner coming out that indicates that someone um, fears intimacy and they may always feel like they they need to run away that could be your energy cancer or it could be your person's energy but we will keep going and see what happens All right, messages for cancer, please. Messages for cancer. So let's get into it. Thank you. move these over on the bottom of the deck guys we have the high priestess and she is in reverse so this can indicate secrets this could also indicate that you have pulled back your energy from your person let's see what's behind that we have the five of swords and the ace of wands so uh, this could have been an argument, guys. <clears throat> Some truth came out here and it put you in a position to where you said, you know, I'm not dealing with you. You may not be speaking with this person right now. You may be trying to make a decision as to whether or not, you know, you're going to continue with this person. Well, let's go in and clarify with the Kipper and then we'll get started on your reading. Cancer. 
Cancer, I know that you pulled back as well because the first card to come out is the Emperor and he's in reverse. So that's representing you. That's showing me that you're not really doing anything to fix the connection right now. This can also indicate that you guys tried to work on the connection and you just weren't able to, you know, fix what was wrong here. Cancer. please all right guys on the bottom of the deck we have toil and labor this tells me that this was a very hard relationship very hard relationship you had to do a lot of things on a lot of days that you did not want to have to do <clears throat> so guys we have main male coming out this is what's in your thoughts this is what you think about guys you have the king of cups in reverse in this main male so this is the person that you're connecting with guys and with the king of cups being in reverse this can indicate that the person cheated but this means that you know you're you're feeling hurt by something that this person has done here in your feelings you have the ace of swords and concern so you've been doing some thinking. You've been trying to find some clarity. With the high priestess being here, there could have been things that were hidden from you. And you may have found out some things. You may have been looking for some things. And you may have found just what you were looking for here. And now that you found it, you know, there's some concern there. There's some things that were concerning here for you. Again, you're coming out as the emperor in reverse, Cancer. You're not doing anything in the connection now. And you have expectation. When the expectation card comes out in the Kipper deck, guys, that's not necessarily a good expectation. It can mean that, you know, shit is getting ready to hit the fan. Things are very serious. You can expect things to not go well. That could be your expectation right now. In your past energy, you have marriage and you have the Ten of Cups in reverse. This is total disharmony. This is you guys not getting along in your connection. You know, this is someone that you thought was your person, but it looks like you found out something here and it changed your mind. You guys could live with this person. I have the house card coming out in your future energy with the star in reverse. This could indicate that you don't see a future with this person. Whereas you thought you would build a home with this person, you thought possibly that you guys would get married if you're not already. You may have thought that this person was going to show up and be the emperor, and they did not. They did not. Your influence on the situation, we have the five of pentacles and thoughts. So either you ghosted this person or you thinking about it. Either you ghosted them or you are thinking about it. You decided to leave this person you may have felt rejected in the connection. You may have felt rejected for some reason. This person could have breadcrumbed you. You know, they could have shown up in the connection when they felt like showing up, but it wasn't to your standards. Their influence in the connection is the Knight of Swords and the Thief card. Man. So your person is the type of person, they don't think about what they do. They just do it. They don't think about the consequences until afterwards. This is, you know, I'm going to do what I want to do. I'm not going to consider anyone else's emotions. And you may have felt like this person stole, you know, stole from you. They stole your Ten of Cups from you. They are keeping you from your complete happiness. You know, you feel, I'm not going to say jilted. You feel slighted. You may feel slighted. 
You may feel like this connection was taken away from you. In your hopes, dreams, and fears, you have the three of wands and message of concern. So I'm feeling like you're, feel, you're wanting to grow. You're wanting to um, expand. You are trying to figure out, you know, how to move forward from this. You may be waiting on a message from your person or you may be wanting to send your, your person a message here. And in your outcome, you have the Knight of Pentacles and poverty. So this is about, you know, things going very slow. I think that this is indicating that your person is going to continue to not show up in the way that they need to show up poverty you're going to always feel like you're lacking something if you decide to stay with this person cancer let's go in with the infinity oracle messages and see if we can get a little bit more information You know, you could have been expecting to marry this person. And now you find yourself in a place where you're having to start over. But when you're sitting in that three of wands energy, the next card after the three is the four of wands, which talks about, you know, balance. Being in a, a, a stable and equal relationship. It can also represent marriage as well. We have inner child healing. Messages for cancer, please. Thank you. So we have inner child healing. Keep the faith, financial loss, dark night of the soul, twin flame, slow and steady. There's my Knight of Pentacles energy. New perspective, abundance is near, and healing old wounds. On the bottom of the deck, we have Speak Your Truth, Cancer. This can also indicate that your person is taking their time to maybe propose to you. That's what I'm also picking up on. I definitely see a twin flame connection here, but I'm not seeing movement. And I'm seeing you guys getting a new perspective. And if you're going through a dark night of the soul, guys, you know, that's that's a hard period, which we already knew. We said that this was a hard relationship. Hmm. I'm just showing this person makes you happy, but they're not they're not choosing you. And it looks like you're ready to move on. All right, let's go in with this deck. See if we can bring this home. How is Cancer currently feeling about? How is Cancer currently feeling about their person? The most important thing here for me, though, guys, is keep the faith and abundance is near. Keep the faith. You can get what it is that you seek. If it's meant for you. I just can't see it well. Just a little bit more. You see that, guys? It's the world card. I just can't see it about that person. We have judgment. And we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. The Ace of Pentacles. 
the Six of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Sun in Reverse. So for me, again, this is I'm waiting for a commitment here. This is what I want. I want a stable commitment that I can count on, but I'm not getting it. You know, I'm unhappy here. I'm having a change of heart. I'm, I'm trying to make a decision here with judgment on whether or not to start over with this person. Because what I'm looking for is equal give and take here. But you know, you're not you're not feeling very positive about that right now. You're not really seeing the success in it. I have the emperor here again in reverse. Your person is just not showing up here, guys. I'm getting a lot of sadness. I'm feeling like your person can be a little mean and manipulative. And it takes, like I said, everything in you to deal with this person. But it looks like you have totally walked away from this person. You've ghosted them. But you have an expectation here that they're going to come in, come in and right their wrongs. That's what it looks like to me. How does Cancer's person feel about them, Spirit? How does Cancer's person feel about them? We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. The Queen of Cups in reverse. The King of Coins in reverse. We have Justice. And on the bottom of... I'm oh, sorry, let's get one more card. <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. On the bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands in reverse. Mm, mm, mm. With the Two of Cups and the Knight of Wands. And I just saw the Queen of Swords as well. <laughs> so it looks like your person, you know, like I said, they're not showing up to this commitment. I don't know whether or not they were given to other people. Um, whether this is a case of infidelity. Why that's, you know, why you're in your feelings. Um, this can indicate that they hurt you because they violated their commitment with you and they are having some regrets at this time. They're wanting things to work out with you, but from what I see, this person is not going to come in and show up. They haven't grown up yet. We have the Page of Wands in reverse and the Knight of Wands. This is someone who's not ready for a commitment. So there may be something that you need to get clear on, Cancer, when you make this decision here. You may need to cut this person off, Page of Swords. This can also indicate that, you know, you found out a truth. You found out a truth about what was going on with your person being sneaky. We have the Seven of Swords. We have this King of Wands energy here. You know, the King of Wands, everyone wants the King of Wands. This Five of Swords can also indicate that you are having fights with other people for this person's attention. And that's why you're at the crossroads that you're at now, but you're resisting leaving here. You're trying to make this decision. Oh, but you've taken so much. You've taken so much. But you want this person to come in and love you, but they're not doing it. You're manifesting this person, but you're, you're not sure how you guys are going to be able to move forward from this. You're trying to cut ties. You're trying to move on. But ultimately, you want this. That's what's here. All right. Before we go, let's get you some messages of love. Cancer. Messages for cancer, please. <laughs> we have true love this love is emotional physical and unconditional 
support. Lean on your inner circle during this time. That's about you needing to, you know, lean on your, your biggest support system at this time because you have a big decision to make here. You have boundaries coming out. Firm boundaries are needed now. You need to set some firm boundaries with this person. We have integrity. This person, you know, may not be keeping it real with you. And, and then you have to ask yourself, does this, this relationship align with your values and your morals? Is this really what you imagine yourself going through? You know, is this what you wake up in the morning desiring? Do you desire, you know, how this person makes you feel? Do you deserve what this person does to you? Give me one more message, please. You have go slow. Take your time. On the bottom of the deck, we have release. Don't make a quick judgment here, guys. And, and spirit is guiding you to release this person. It says radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. Messages for cancer. First card out is anxiety. This person stresses you to hell out, Cancer. We have Goddess of the Moon coming out. This could indicate two things. This could indicate that there were things going on that you didn't know about, especially with us starting off with this High Priestess in reverse. And this is also an energy of I don't know which path to take. Okay, guys, the Moon card is I don't know which path to take. I don't know which way, which what decision I need to make here. We have the garden in the gate. The garden in the gate talks about, you know, do you stay within the confines of the garden where you feel like it's safe because you've been with this person? You don't want change. You're resisting change. This feels comfortable. I don't know anybody else. I don't want to start over with anybody else. Or do you go beyond the gate where other possibilities lie? Possibilities for success. What is your choice? I have financial constraints coming out. You may not be able to make the decision because this person may support you in some way or you have your assets tied together in some way. <clears throat> and you may not be able to really leave right now. I have action. You could be getting a plan in place. Any other messages for cancer? And we have door to value. This is you guys wanting, you know, a relationship that's worth it. You want to be able to open that door and have what it is that you're seeking here, guys. On the bottom of the deck, indecision. You're stressed out about making this decision. But again, like I said, guys, you have abundance is near here. Keep the faith. And you have door to value. So I feel like after you take action and what you need to do in regards to this relationship to come out of this anxious energy... I believe that you're going to find something a lot more valuable than this person. Okay, Gemini. I'm sorry, Cancer. I said that for a reason. Some of you could be dealing with a Gemini. <laughs> All right, Cancer. That's been your reading. If you are here and you haven't done so, please hit that subscribe button. And if you like the video, please take a second and give me a thumbs up. Cancer, enjoy the rest of your weekend and I'll catch you on your next reading.